Hey folks, Sarah here for Hardcore Cores updates and reviews. Tonight I'm going to be doing a review on Punk Rock Holocaust Part 1 and 2. Now, I've had this sitting around in my collection for a few years now, and I saw some pictures of uh, some stills online of this of this film. So I decided to give it a whirl. Um, if anybody's familiar with the Warp Tour, um, this film is based on the Warp Tour, um, the Warp Tour show. Um, the Vans Warp Tour show. This is basically a promotion video for all the for the bands for the Warp Tour over the years. Um, nothing more. It's pretty low budget, almost like a trauma film. And speaking of trauma, Lloyd Kaufman plays the devil on this in part one and part two. Um, it's a bunch of hot topic punk bands in this film. So um, the story is that it's about a mass killer that's going around slaughtering kids, punk kids, and uh, band members. And that's basically the story. I mean, there's a backstory to it, but um, not very interesting. Um, I found in the scenes of dialogue was very boring. I kind of fell when to fall asleep during them. Um, there is a lot of kills, um, and the the killing is over the top, cheesy. Um, it is gory. Some scenes are better than others. Um, I mean, some of the gore is fun. I, I, I'm not, not going to say it wasn't. Um, but it's very bad acting. It's like they probably went around the Warped Tour and um, asked kids, say, hey, you want to be in a movie? Here, just put this fake blood in your mouth and spit it out whenever I say action. So that's what kind of movie I think it is because the acting is pretty atrocious. The dialogue is stupid. Um, like I said, I don't want to rip it on anybody's films, but... The guy that directed these, Doug Shankman, I think that's how you say it, he's done some um, gore porn movies, I think Repenetrator and The Triple Exorcist, I think those were the ones he directed, don't quote me on that, but, so, pretty much the acting was like porn, no star acting, <laughs> like I said, I'm not trying to rip on anybody's movie, I mean, it was, it was okay. Um, if you want to see something cheesy like a trauma film one of all the top killings check out Punk Rock Holocaust now part 2 is not even really worth talking about it was pretty pretty bad it was way worse than part 1 um, there still was like the over the top killings from the um, it, this time it was a headless killer um, same thing same concept same idea same people uh, just it was kind of boring and it wasn't there wasn't as many kills but I guess there's going to be a part three. Will I be watching it? Maybe someday. Um, the, some some guys did the special effects from Backseat con Conceptions. Um, I met them at a convention. Um, they were pretty nice guys. I thought maybe they had something to do with um, Cross Bear and the Cemetery. I don't know if they did if they did the special effects for that. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But when I saw that they were a part of this film, I just kind of got me interested. And there was another company, I am an evil evil carrot. They were they were actually a part of that backseat um, conception. So punk rock holocaust. If you want cheesy gore, really bad acting, check it out. Um, I'm really swamped with reviews. I want to get more reviews done. I'm probably going to do one um, one this week. I, I'm so fucking far behind on my reviews, so please bear with me. There's some that I, that I just got to get done. I've told people that I'm going to do some reviews on their films, so just um, bear with me, and I'll try to get as many as I can out this week. With that, have a glory one.